More than alongside Daniel Woodruff. New tonight, a St. George family is speaking to KSL saying they did not get the justice they deserved after their loved one was hit and killed by a driver who was alleged to have been under the influence of drugs. As we first told you here Friday night, that driver, 28-year-old Brianna Waters, was sentenced to one year in jail. New specialist Brianna Chavez joining us live tonight with the family's reaction to that sentence. Yeah, Daniel, Debbie, Matthew, or the nieces of Matthew Jones, I should say, say that the last few months have been very difficult for them and their family. Matthew was hit and killed by a car the same week that his sister, Mardell, was also hit and killed by a car. Now, the family says that they are hoping that others do not have to go through the same pain that they are dealing with. <laughs> he has such a good, tender heart. Like, everything he said was so genuine. That's how Sadie May and Haley Jones are choosing to remember their uncle. Just a few months after Matthew Jones was hit and killed on 500 North and Bluff Street in St. George, his nieces say the loss has not been easy. It feels like it's just been hurting more and more. We just keep reliving it. It's just really hard to have to except Matthew died just days before his sister Mardell but was hit by a driver allegedly under the influence of drugs later identified as 28 year old Brianna Waters KSL spoke to the prosecutor in charge of the case who says police did not read Waters her Miranda rights during the arrest causing concern for the case according to court documents a plea deal was eventually reached Waters was facing a sentence of 1 to 15 years in prison but was only sentenced to 1 year in jail I personally don't feel like there was like any justice or in it. I'm upset that that it turned out this way. Um, am I hateful towards anybody? I'm not going to let that hatred, you know, taint who I am because that's not who I am. Sadie May and Haley say they don't wish Waters any harm but are hoping what happened to their family doesn't happen to others. It definitely could have gone better than what it has been. And I think that they need to understand and learn from this. And continue to honor their uncle's memory as best they can. He's made such an impact on my life, but I'm going to um, <laughs> just take that and move forward in the best way that I can. And court documents state that Waters uh, does need to pay a $2,000 fine, and she also has a probation that is set for four years. Daniel? All right. Tough time for that family, Brianna. Thank you very much.